Hi there. So here's our next video. And today I'm going to help you understand front end estimation. And we're going to do front end estimation with adjustment. We'll use it to add and subtract. Um, front end estimation is just another example of estimating. Yesterday we talked about rounding. Rounding has specific rules. Well, front end estimation has specific rules to follow too. And you need to know two different strategies for estimating. So this is the second one. Um, so let's begin. I know, do you like my drawing? I sometimes think about this strategy and why it's called front end estimation in the way that I think of the front end of a car. So it's, it's very similar. Um, there's the front end of the car. Uh, I wasn't sure if you'd be able to tell, so I included a bumper and the driver, the steering wheel, up in the front. And the rear end, you can see the exhaust. Okay, not so environmentally friendly, this car. Um, but let's take a number and look to see why it's called front end estimation. So let's take the number 8,271. We're gonna, um, to find the front end estimation of this number, you essentially drop these digits. You take the leading digit, you drop them, and you turn the rest of the number into this. It's really that simple. That's called front end estimating. Let's try it again. Let's try it with a different number. Uh, let's try 9,999. Front end estimation, not rounding, front end estimation means you drop all the other digits but the leading digit, the one in front, and the rest of them just become zeros. Now, there's an argument to be made that this isn't the best, most accurate strategy. I mean, that was 9,999. You would think that's pr it's really close to 1,000, 10,000, right? It's really close to 10,000. How can you just drop all those digits? Well, that's why we have to adjust. So let's apply the front end estimating strategy to adding and subtracting, but now we need to adjust and we need to account for those other digits. So let's take uh, this problem here, 8,271 plus 3,943. Um, if we were to round this, round, right? Not front end estimation. Okay, when I taught you how to round to the nearest thousand, I said that you'd have to look at the hundreds digit, the one to the right. If it's five or greater, you round up to the nearest thousand. If it's less than five, you round down, right? So we're rounding now just to compare with front end estimating. All right, so that would become 8,000, right? Because it's two is in the hundreds place and that's less than five, okay? Um, with this one, we have a nine in the hundreds place. So we round up, right, to 4,000. Okay, we add these two together and we get 12,000, right? Okay, keep that in mind. Let's try the front end estimation. I'm gonna erase the rounding just so we can focus on the front end estimating. But I wanted to do the rounding first just so you could see how it would compare with our answer when we do the front end estimating. So I told you before that you take the leading digit and all the other ones become zeros. So now we'll do this, right? And then we take the leading digit and the second number, three, and all the others become zeros. So what do we get? We get 11,000, but we haven't adjusted yet. So let's see what happens when we adjust. Okay, now remember the reason we do this is so that we can get close in the neighborhood of what we're, um, what is the precise answer. We don't want the precise answer because we don't need it, but we wanna be close in the neighborhood. We don't wanna be really far off. So with front end estimation, we're gonna have to adjust. So, okay, I, I rewrote the problem so it's, um, vertical rather than horizontal, and I showed how the front end estimation would work. We just did this problem on the previous slide, and this became 11,000. So when we adjust, we need to look at the leftovers. This is what I would call 
the leftovers that we've just forgot. Remember, we turned them all into zeros. So for 8,271, our leftovers are 271. Our leftovers for the next number, 3,943, what are our leftovers? Right here, right? 943. And what do we do with those? We do front end estimation again. So you see, um, you take the leading digit and I'll write it right down below. And that becomes 200. The rest of the digits get forgotten, they're zeros. Then for the second number, same thing. Take the leading digit and the rest of it just becomes zeros. So now we add that together, 1,100. And this is the one part that might, you might forget, so this is something to really pay attention to. When we do this, we do our final adjustment, we take this number and we round to the nearest thousand. So this front end estimating does have a tiny, tiny bit of rounding in it. So 1,100 is closest to 1,000, right? I'm gonna draw an arrow that goes to the edge of my little whiteboard, but it becomes 1,000. So we take that 1,000 and we add it to our previous amount. And what do we get? 1,000, that's our answer. Our answer when we do front end estimation. Shall we try that again with a different amount? How about we do this with, um, I wrote myself a problem so I wouldn't lose my train of thought. 4,392 plus, I'm going to put it over here, 7,904. I said the other day. 904. 7,904. Okay, so what do we do? Um, we're not going to find the accurate, precise answer because we're learning a second estimation strategy. We're going to do front end estimation. So um, we focus on the leading digits, right? The leading digits here and here, and the rest of them become zeros. Well, hope this is visible. So this becomes 4,000, and this one becomes 7,000. Add that up, we get, oh, look at that, 11,000 again. Okay, now we have to look at the leftovers. We dropped 392, so we need to remember that, and we're going to add it to the leftovers from the second number, 904. But we're using front end estimation. So we're only gonna look at those leading digits and the rest of the numbers, the rest of the digits become zeros. So 392 becomes 300, 904 becomes 900, we add 300 plus 900, we get 1,200. And then we round to the nearest thousand. So we take 1,200, round it to the nearest thousand. That's 1,000 because we're looking at the two in the hundreds place, it's less than five. So that becomes 1,000 and we add it to our original front end estimating. And we get, hey, the same answer again. How? funny is that? Make sense? Okay. Um, you know how to find me if it doesn't make sense. It's also in your book and it's on page 29. You can read about it on page 29. And I want you to do some practice problems too. So on page 30, you'll do numbers 20 through 24. Did you hear me say that? Shall I repeat it? They're just some guided practice problems, just a few problems, on page 30, numbers 20 through 24. And when you're done with that, you'll see in your book, there's also um, the front end estimating with adjustment in subtraction. Subtraction is different, so I'm going to talk to you about subtraction in a different video. All right, thanks you guys. Have fun.